I'm gonna get home, you know, change my clothes. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm, um, just didn't sleep very well last night, that's all. I'm not honest. I'll see you later. Hang on, hang on. Are you still mad at me over yesterday? Hey? Nathan, I, I did bang on a little bit. Me daft, of course I'm not. I've just got stuff to do. Yeah, I know. Look, okay. I'm going to count to three and then I'm putting the phone down, all right? One, two, three. Bye! I'll give you a ring in a bit, right? I'll see you later. Looks like we've got ourselves a nuisance caller. Terry, again, wants to know if we're going to bother turning up for work today. Who does he think we are, the hired help? What's wrong with you two? I don't know. I don't believe it. Coat and scarf, no. There's only enough money in here for two dozen eggs. Well, it's your first day. You can't expect miracles. No, the point is, three dozen eggs have been taken. Somebody's nicked a dozen. Yeah, well, I suppose that's why they call it an honesty box. I'm never going to get to Norway at this rate. How much? Hey? How much is missing? Oh, 150. No, I can give you that. Uh, don't forget to invite Victoria for tomorrow. Can I ask Kayleigh? Why well, she can't invite who you want? Not that she'll come. Probably not cool enough for her. <laughs> oh, God, I'm frozen. Listen, you mind if I wipe the eating up? You'll be paying the bill when it comes in, will you? Shut up, you. Go and put it on. Did the kids get off all right? Yeah, good as gold. Mind you, having said that, I didn't even get a kiss off Noah today. Gone on some nature. Oh, all right, I'm going to get off. <laughs> By the way, I thought I'd invite Zach and Lisa over, cook them some supper. What do you think? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Better get some antiacids in. Oh, ha, ha. Do you want some money? No, you're all right. Mmm, cooking, shopping, you have changed. Yeah, I know I have. I keep trying to tell you that. What? Like you need to ask. Well, apparently, mm -hmm. she threatened to phone the police. You are joking. I wish I was, look. <laughs> For feeding her own baby. <laughs> oh. Sounds like Viv. <laughs> Stupid woman. <laughs> hey, you missed a bit, look. Well, love. To your left. There. Yeah. Yeah. Up a bit. There. Bit yeah. more. Bit more. Got it. Ah. <laughs> Where would I be without you, love? <laughs> Down at the job centre, probably. Cheek. <laughs> hey, now, love, uh, mm? before I forget, you uh, you couldn't manage to uh, do the factory on your own, could you? Oh, oh on the QT, mind, but I'd walk you in and get you started. Oh, aye, where are you gallivanting <laughs> off to? <laughs> to town. I've had this Angora wool on order for flaming wheat. A word, please. You... Problem? Depends whether my toilets have been cleaned or not. <sighs> Go on. How shall I put this? You pay us for a bit more than just a cat lick. Precisely. What's going on? Nothing for you to worry oh. your head about. So, hey, what? I am for later, then. Hmm. Go on, then. <laughs> oh, what a mate! Yeah. Good girl, we. So which bedroom shall we christen to dear? <laughs> oh, give over, he's a grown man. Not that we'll get much chance to do anything, not with you know who on the prowl. Mm. I'll see you later. Hey, uh, hang on a sec. You go ahead, I'll be with you shortly. Oh, no, you don't. If I've got to suffer the indignity of dishpan hands at my age, I expect the same from you. It's called pulling your weight. <laughs> You know, that sent a shiver right down my spine, you sounded just like Terry. I'll be with you shortly. Go on. What? What's going on with you and Layla? Become quite distant, that's all. <sighs> so it's not just me? No, afraid not. How serious are you about her? I love her. Ah, uh -huh. have you told her that? Yes! Then you better do something to prove it. You've changed your chain. I must admit, I did have my reservations about her. She's a nice girl. I've become quite fond of her. What are you trying to say, Dad? <laughs> a girl does not like to be taken for granted, least of all someone like Layla. Hang on to her. Hey? She's a pretty girl. Woo her, romance her, show her that you care. Before somebody else does, I have the privilege of hindsight. You don't. Think about it. Yep. 
So where's the lovely Layla? She not in today? Mm, there's a question and a half. Sorry? Oh, Nathan, that word yesterday, I think. I just left him to it. <laughs> what about? I didn't expect to see you today. Yes, well, my mother's decided to spend more time with my dad. So. <laughs> Where are they gallivanting off to this time? <laughs> Not really any of your business, is it, Rodney? Uh, is Layla in? Not seen her. Right, well, I'll be off. Right. Have a nice day. Maybe she slept in. Yeah, well, uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? She breastfed. For how long? For most of the afternoon. In that chair right there. <laughs> how did the punters take it? Made quite a few people's day, actually. Ah, oh, trust Nicola. <laughs> hey, do you hear about Mary Whitehouse over there? No. She's obviously barking. You're not going to believe this. Couldn't go to the cash and carry for me, could you? Uh, not without busting a gut, love, no. I'm working here all day. You could go in your break. Please. Oh, go on, then. All right. Oh, sorry. Have you got a minute? Yeah. Yeah, I just, just wanted to let you know that um, I've had a letter from, from Donna's solicitor and she's agreed to let me buy her out of tall trees. Well, don't hold your breath. Come on, she worked her socks off to get that cottage. Meaning I didn't? This hasn't got anything to do with the current housing market, has it? Sorry? Well, it's probably worth less now than when you bought it. You'll be quids in. It ne Vivian never... <laughs> Listen, look, it's all been agreed. Not until the ink's dry, it hasn't. Trust me, I know solicitors. Is there a problem? Yes, him trying to fleece my daughter. I am not... I think the exact phrase I used was buy her out, not take her to the cleaners. All the same thing in my book. See you later. I've got a phone call to make. Phoning the police by any chance? About breastfeeding mothers? <laughs> Ada should clone her. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, did I wake you? I had a bath and lay down. Must have just nodded off, eh? Hmm. Right. Well, this is what you do, is it, eh? To while away the hours. Well, if you've got a better suggestion, huh. just let me know. How about getting a job? Mm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I'm going to wait in the cafe. What time do you call this? Sorry. I should think so. You only did half a day yesterday. What's going on? Are you all right? Yeah. Well, you don't look it. Doc, will you uh, go on your lunch? Well, it's not on the clock yet. Yeah, well, who's clock watching? Go on. Oh, well, in that case, don't mind if I do. Have you had a change of heart? Only yesterday you were resigning. Yeah, well, my other options didn't seem very appealing. Wait, you mean you saw sense? What exactly do you want from me? I, I don't really know at the moment. If it wasn't so tragic, it'd be hilarious. I'm being blackmailed over a pair of shoes. Because <laughs> don't think that I ever actually fancied you. What are you doing tonight? Only whatever plans you have, they can be changed. Why? Because I need a date. I can pick you up at about 8 o'clock. You out your mind, you know that? No. No, I'm not. You, on the other hand, seem determined to make your life really difficult. I'll see you later. 